we go. That's right. Different. What is your character? Drink? I'm John Tate. I'm Kathy slash Richard. I am Danny. I'm Richard slash Kathy. How do they get on with each other? Well, my character doesn't like anyone. We don't really get along. Yeah. You... Apart from Lou. I get on all right with Lou. We, we have a lot of... <laughs> Me and Richard are... Yeah, we don't Ooh. get along. You get along with Kathy because you, yeah. you back her up. I'll back her up. I don't like her, but I'll back her up. Yeah. <laughs> and Danny, I don't... I don't seem to have a very positive opinion of Danny. I feel right. like my character thinks he's a bit of a nerd who doesn't really deserve to hang around with us. Mm. Yeah, because, I mean, there is one part in the scene where you, like, threaten me to take yeah. your side and it's, like, quite... Yeah, it's like, a, very intimidating. I'm like, have you got your own side, Danny, if you're not on me and Richard's side? Yeah, yeah. it just means you're setting yourself up against me, which is very dangerous, and it's like, ooh... Yeah. <laughs> but yikes. I don't get along with Danny. Yeah, we don't get along. Um, I tend, I, I lean towards John. Um, I think it's because everyone's scared of him. Yeah. Yeah. So, I just take his side so I don't get like beat up or something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm well. Danny's character is like intimidated by John Tate. He doesn't get on with Kathy. Um, you back me Richard, up. Yeah, you back Richard up. Danny defends Richard against John. So I'm guessing we have quite a good friendship. Yeah, yeah, yeah does... we do. I think through how it is, it's that we both kind of back each other up. Yeah. Like we would get in front of each other. And... It seems like in the group there's like a definite hierarchy, and I think it's like John Tate at the top, and then Kath is like somewhere between the top and the second row, and you two are on the second row, definite. Yeah. And then it's Lou like the Leah, bottom. Leah and Phil, and then. Um, Lou's, uh, at the bottom. Lou's at the bottom because he's just well, no, Lou, but he's quiet. Brian. He's quiet, but he's, Lou, yeah, he seems Lou very Brian. close with um, Brian is at, like, like very John Tate. I think oh. Lou's like not even on the list. He's oh, like yeah, somewhere else. Yeah, so Brian, totally separate. Brian isn't there. Brian's either. at the bottom. Yeah, he just cries. John and Mark. Oh, John yeah, and Mark. Mark don't seem. They're, they're really they're in the middle with us. They seem important, but not that important. So I'd say they're about second band. What about they come in and out? Kathy and Richard. How do they get on? They don't get along, like Do she, because Richard's, Cause Richard's oh, like she's weird. Yeah, she's, Richard thinks I've had really to walk weird. with them both, with him, oh, be, yeah, with yeah. him crying and with her, her being, being weird. weird. Yeah. yeah. So it's like she's take, he's taking like a joke out of, out of uh, Cathy in yeah. a way. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. What is her personality you. like? Yeah. Well, John, <laughs> John Tate is a definite bully. Yeah. Yeah. Definite bully. Yeah, definitely. But I feel like he's got more of a conscience than he's willing to admit. Yeah. Like he's he gets, got a hidden one. He gets so freaked out about the whole Adam thing. Yeah. And yeah. then he turns to God. So like could he's he's Yeah, when he's about the death, he turned around and it's like Yeah, and he bans Don't say that word, don't it's banned and it's like I think it's because why? he doesn't want to accept it. Like yeah. if you say that someone's passed away or they they'll feel like I, d- I don't think it's so. like so it's it's it's, that shows it's his less harsh as yeah. well. Yeah. When he like goes to like mm. a religion, it shows that he isn't mentally fit enough, even yeah, though he might be physically enough intimidating. In physically, he's physically yeah. intimidating, not mm. like mentally. He just yeah, sounds he isn't like mentally he is. strong as he is on the outside. Mm. Yeah, he's loud enough that you think that he's strong. Yeah. 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 He's like an actual bully because yeah. he's got issues. Yeah. Like, he's got some issues. Clearly. Yeah, he's trying to stay up there so no one else notices. He's got them issues, so he's like, play, he is the bully just to make it. When the going gets tough, he goes to God. Yeah. So. Kathy, what's your personality like? Um, Kathy is a bit strange. She just wants to be very popular, but she's not that popular. Um, she acts very weird about uh, the death of Adam, and she says it's quite exciting, which is quite weird. Yeah, she's always wanting yeah. to air interview she's, them. Yeah maybe a bit of a thrill seeker as well and, yeah and you get along like, you don't get along with the, us two no. but you do get along with john and I also, get along like, with john, once, yeah. once the whole phil and leah thing pans out kathy's yeah. like at the top of the school she's yeah terrifying yeah. apparently because there was that whole rumor about how she like cut someone's finger off or something yeah she oh, cut yeah. a first year's finger off which or like, bite it off some <laughs> one of the ways like it's probably a rumor <laughs> but like yeah. it says a lot about her that that's the rumor that like she's spread. gone completely mental yeah because <laughs> of everyone just breaking up she's took a big turn right of keep like, going um, um i think danny was has had like a very sheltered and protected life and his parents have brought him up properly like very under their wing he hasn't been able to like really explore so he's just been very like kept to himself Mm. yeah and now he's been shoved into this situation so he's gone a bit he seems to be quite 
like geeky as well. All he wants to do is pass his A-levels and go mm. to dental college, which makes you think, well, his parents brought him up to live it, like, want to go to that path, maybe. Mm. Because all he, wants, all he wants to do is pass his A-levels. So. Yeah. Because in a way, like, a, your family would force you into that thing. If you're like, right, I need to pass these, I want to do it. He seems to be a bit of a worrier as well. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. he really, as soon as he finds out about what happened, he, like, loses it. Yeah. He's and really also, scared he's going to go to jail. And actually, he makes this big deal about dental college, but you find out at the end that he doesn't even like dental college. <laughs> he doesn't like people's teeth. No. I think exactly. that's to be part of up how up he's been brought up. He's been brought up in that mindset. Yeah. He probably came from a family of dentists. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's like you, Isabel. <laughs> My family aren't dentists. Biologists. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, Richard. Richard, Richard well, he he's very stubborn. Yeah. He, like he won't say, he won't take no as an answer. Like he he tells John to to, to back off in a way. Don't threaten me. Yeah. Very Those two butt heads a lot. Mm. I mean, they're both very stubborn. So when they do butt heads, it's just it's like it's like, it's like you don't want to be in the room. It's like World War Three. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But you don't know what's going to happen. So everyone yeah. leaves the room, just leaving us two. Me and Kathy do not get along <laughs> at all because yeah. of her being weird. I even say that in the script that she's being weird. Yeah. yeah. I don't get on with Brian. But would it not be it. like she's weird, but she's still my friend? Sort of yeah, because in a way, yeah. it's like I'm walking with them from school. So yeah, yeah we're hanging out, but I'm like. It's like that how awkward sometimes you end up with someone who's in the group and like you're all friends, but they're not. Just it's that person though. that you're not close to. Yeah, it's, mm. yeah. it's kind of like. The one that just wants to be over everyone yeah, else. Yeah, not everyone. Like in friends. Because Kathy no wants, wants like to be the star. Us. She wants yeah, to be. Yeah, she wants be to be the main person. She wants to be <laughs> the head everything. of everything. She wants to be in charge. Yeah. yeah, and then we just get along because you back me up. Yeah. But in the script, and yeah. like I think we're the closest mates on like. I would out say of we have like quite a decent friendship enough to defend one another. Yeah, we'll get in front of each other as well. I think that's it because at one point I think it's like when you two are arguing, I kind of step in front as like, like which is like, well, yeah, calm that, it down. That like, makes me think maybe that Danny's got a bit of a fire in his belly as well, like despite being very worried about everything, mm, he yeah. still knows how to like stand up for himself. Yeah. So what about the, how they walk around? Like, well, the movement of Russia? John Tate would be very swaggery like he'd, be very he'd like, properly be like oh i take up all this space because i'm so important mm. like, like carry carpet bit of a chat sort of like that yeah yeah like it's like i'm in charge out of my like, chest out he's the sort of person that people man. move apart for yeah mm. you don't want to get in his way yeah you do not want to get in his way yeah so the person who would just push people out of the way as well. Yeah. Like if they didn't move, like you just, just look go. at them no. and they'd just like scatter. Yeah. It's yeah. scary. It's pretty yeah. scary. <laughs> what about Kathy? She's I think bit... she'd walk around quite uh, quite hyperactive actually. Mm. I think she's got very a lot energy. of energy yeah. and she's very like outgoing and I'd say bubbly but like in a bad way. She's that a bit, weird bubble yeah, that like awkward a, bubbly yeah, it's like a bit yeah. too much. Like a bit mm. over exaggerated. Yeah. I feel like Danny's got a lot of energy, but like nervous energy. Yeah, he's I more. Like he's more like. Hey, Danny, there. Yeah, Danny would want to stick his head in the book and yeah. like, worry about everything because. <laughs> well, he walks who, around. He doesn't speak like for a lot of like the first part, so he, he just could, stands He there. probably would either just be like worrying, like maybe. Trying write, to read a book. Like writing notes, trying mm. to like distract himself. He's or even, or even you could be on the floor, about bringing levels in. So you could be on the floor trying to be like, yeah. making it sound, and you're trying to ignore them, and you keep getting interrupting, like, well, and then just like you're back there because yeah. in the way she put the butt in yeah. to each yeah. other. So when you go, are you sure about that or whatever? What one of the lines is what you get um, told, and it's like you get forced back out, then you're there writing it again. I feel um, like he's the sort of person. I know John Tate say, um, Luke goes fine, and John Tate's not fine, no. And then I'm like, fine. fine. <laughs> and then you can be going back to your work because you're not in it. Yeah, for and then quite it's a like, while. I can't get mixed up in this, I'm going to be a dentist. I feel like he's the sort of person that if him and John Tate weren't friends, John Tate would bully him. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, he still does a little bit, but it's more. It's, so, how would I move it's around the stage? So, you could even be standing on the floor because you've got. You could have so many pieces of paper. You'd have you'd a want very to keep good yourself together. Would it be a high posture or yeah. very. If he's pretty posh, you've got a good posture, but yeah. you're small. 
like you want your posture to be good, but you want to keep yourself to yourself. Like, I want it like a good so posture, but like timid at the, yeah. the same time. Yeah, so drop time. your shoulders because if you think when you're straight, your shoulders drop. Just drop as long as I have like a straight back, and maybe like bring my shoulders. Yeah, in a little like bit. have you ever seen in Glee, you know, the warblers? He'd walk like yeah. a warbler, but like one of the nervous ones. He doesn't talk much. He's just kind of there as yeah. for numbers, basically. Yeah, a lot of that kind of. I'll have to look at that actually mm. now that you've mentioned it. Because they've got their blazers on, so they're very like proper. Like yeah. they've got a reputation to uphold. Like, very like we're in charge here. Yeah. So how would you walk around the stage? Room? Well, it's Richard. He doesn't take anything in the. St- but at the same time, he does so. Like yeah. he doesn't I take anything, but like he will John. back down. Yeah, he eventually. will back down. It takes a lot. To, yeah, it takes a lot. It's I very, think it's, it takes John Tate. Like mm. no one like else. Like he's up with you for definite. He's that kind of. It's not posh, but straight back. I think they're very similar, it's John like Tate what, and Richard. It's like what you said. But I can, it's, like, it's like that timidness at the same time. He's a part of the group, cycle. but like he's not quite up there. Yeah. Except you wouldn't be nervous. You'd be like still I don't, up there, I don't, but you're not as I'm high. just like, I don't really want to be in the situation anymore. And I'm just like, it's kind of like that walk away situation. That so obviously when you come on the stage, when, when do you like, first Because I on? walk on and I'm like, I'm with these two, with her, with him crying and with her being weird and, I, and I've been threatened. So I'm literally, I've just walked in, I'm absolutely fine. I'm just like, oh, here we go again. Then all of a sudden you're threatening me and I'm like, you're what? I'm get, I'm very close up in people's faces. Very confrontational, you're not yeah. scared. <laughs> you're I'm probably, I'm probably I'm, that probably, probably means you've got quite a temper as well. So after hearing yeah. news like that and then you're, like, what? you're being threatened, you're like, do not. Do not talk to me like that, John. Yeah. You shouldn't threaten me. You shouldn't threaten me, John. And it's that <laughs> it's a difference in tone as well with your voice that will help with your body yeah. posture. Um, right. When they talk, what do they sound like? <laughs> I've just done Ooh, that. I, <laughs> I think John Tate's like I don't know how to describe. You know, you know, kind of like Draco Malfoy. He's like very like not slimy. But he always sounds like he knows best. Like he thinks that he knows snobby. best. Snobby. He's yeah. very snobby. He's a It's like I know this. I know that. Diddle and then he's there. he's very harsh. <laughs> That's how Danny needs to sound. He's, a, he's very harsh with himself, like with other people. Like, I don't yeah. think he'd be very well spoken though. That's, that's no. He's more like. Yeah, no. He seems like kind of a, like a slang. He's a bit of a chap. User. Yeah. Like it's like this bit when he says, and if anyone says it, I'm gonna have to, you know, bite their face or something. Like that's not very. Yeah. It's not oh, harsh. It's more. It's not particularly a put together sentence. It's more of a. Yeah. This is the first thing that came into my head but it sounds it's like scary so I'm going to he doesn't it. he doesn't think before he speaks yeah i think it just that comes out mm. so he doesn't like he's not like kind of i'm going to pronounce my t's kind of person which is like going to be me. fun for me to do <laughs> <laughs> literally it's like you have to like work with your mouth and go right this is how i'm going to say this i'm going to say that i'm going to say this it's very speeded up like facial yeah, exercises quick. like what michelle said like, as well a health pronunciation yeah. It'll help. So, how does Kathy talk? I think Kathy talks quite fast. I can imagine that yeah. she's quite got, sassy. Yeah, she's very, uh, she's very loud. I think she's just wanting to put her point across. Of she's a diva. Um, yeah. Oh, she, she is. is a diva. Like Mercedes, yeah. she's probably. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Like she just wants to be the loudest boldest person she can. She wants to have the most attention in the room. Yeah, she wants the mm. attention on her. It's like, hi, I'm here, and everyone will pay attention. It's like, hi, I'm here, it's me, listen now. Yeah. It's like, everyone's like, oh, here we go again, but she's like, how would Danny speak? Um, Danny will... Danny pronounces T's. He, 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 he seems like the person that would pronounce his T's, yeah. yeah. So, I don't know, he, how would he like... I feel like he'd be he's very, very careful posh. about. Yeah, I think he's careful be like about quite what he gentle says. when he speaks, like, like yeah. quite he's eloquent. Like, it's like I'm okay, don't worry, I'm absolutely fine. Like he's posh, but I don't reckon he's po- okay. posh. Okay, he's yeah, sort of, he's sort it's of not like, that snobby posh. Yeah, he's like he's Devin yeah, posh. Yeah. Like how I'm Devin posh, but not as much. Like he's he's it's posh casual. And, he's posh enough that you know that he's posh. But he's not so posh that you're like yeah. intimidated by him. But he doesn't have to have an accent on it. It can literally just be how you speak. So you've got this. You talk normally to. It's like how when people say, like, it's like when, like, well, I call my mum mum. Other people call their mum's mum. I call my mum mummy. I feel like he's very much a mummy kind of person. Yeah, like, he wouldn't say mum, he'd say mum. Or mummy. I feel like he's a mummy and daddy. (laughs) He'd actually, yeah. That's what I call my parents. He seems, like, very under his parents' wings. Yeah. Very hidden from the world. Like, come here. Yeah. And that's why when like someone he's dies, a, he's just like, oh my god. 
Mm. Yeah, it's a very like I'll tell my father about this kind of yeah. my character. father will hear about this. <laughs> yeah. So what about Richard? How does Richard talk? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's kind of like I think he's casual. He's very similar. Like we're on the same page. He's very casual because he's like for God's sake. Yeah, he doesn't have like a specific trait. Like he's a bit of, of he's a mixture of being one minute he could be posh, next minute he can be completely. He seems like a tiny bit of a suck up as well. Like right at the end, mm. with the whole thing at Phil, he's like, "Oh, I'm the new leader. I'm getting in here." And he's like, yeah. "Phil, are you gonna come down from the field, please?" <laughs> he's like, "I need my number one." I don't think he's ever. He's not a number one. He's a number two. Yeah. Like he's always gonna be. He's the Robin to someone's Batman, but he needs a Batman. Yeah. Mm. I think he's very. He's just natural. He just wants to be there. He's trying to stop everyone from doing stuff. Yeah. He wants to get it over with though. Yeah, like, he's like the person who's like, right, let's just stop that and let's backtrack on what we're doing. But when he's confronted, he does like... He he snaps. He snaps. He's very... I think he's like anger issues in a way, but he's able to control them to a point when someone snaps at him, he snaps back and he can't control it. I think that's a really good one. There's definitely bad blood between him... And John Tate. You gotta wonder if something happened in the past then. Mm. Because like, if you I wonder think if, about it. Because we all still get along. We still all chat and stuff. You know how it says that. Um, hang on. It says. Hang on. It says something about when John Tate came to this school. So I'm wondering if Richard was like the top man or whatever. And then John Tate's been, come up and just shoved like, him off the podium. And you said and be like, about I'm here. And Robin, yeah, because that's like, why. Because that it's like John Tate, he, all, he knows how to get under Richard's skin. Of yeah. how, he how knows how to, to like get into and, people's heads sort of. Yeah, Richard and annoyed probab- with him. Richard probably was top dog until And then until when and then when John Tate goes when he by the end of the script, he's like, I'm I'm his number two and I need to be able to That's why do that. There was bad blood probably between them because And then at the end they're like great buddies, like hey to one They side. were very yeah. similar and when two similar personalities clash it doesn't end it, well. It like they, they bounce off each they other. They either work perfectly or horrendous. I found the bit that I mean. It, he says, Ever since I came to this school, haven't I been trying to keep everyone together? Which I think that means that Sean Tate's come to this school and he's been like, Right, I've got the chance to be at the top so he's gotten a little group of people from all sorts of different backgrounds. And he cemented them together with the fact that he's keeping them safe. Yeah, because he's got like he's got like a nerdy type. He's, he's got, got one who someone, he's got Kathy who's a bit of a weirdo. He's got Lou who's quiet, quiet. but does what he's told. He's got yeah, someone quiet, who's going weird. To dental college. Yeah, yeah. so he's got a, he's got a full on nerd in a way. You could we're got, just gonna call it that for now. He's got everything. He's got the brains. He's got the brawn. He's got whatever Kathy is. <laughs> the, the the the, oh God, the mental like side. Yeah, he set his own little team up so that he doesn't to fill fill in everything that he doesn't have so like as much as i think he's, he's like a very swaggery person i don't think he's that well built he's not like a big muscle like, person that's why he's, why got, he's richard, got richard he's more muscle the better brains i think he's yeah. like the put the mind that puts everything together yeah, he's, but he needs the brains to be like yeah, he's throwing got, ideas out to him so he knows it's there I think he's got the sense, and he's got street smarts, but he needs academic smarts. Mm. And I think he's got Kathy because he needs someone to talk to other people. Like, I feel like Kathy, yeah. Yeah. She's Kathy a will talk to anyone. She like, can chat. distract anyone. Lose, that, lose like the one think, who can find out information by, yeah. by standing in a room and no one would notice. I also think he genuinely likes Lou, you know. Like, as much as he's like, are you on my side, Lou? I don't think it's quite as confrontational. I think he's just saying it because... Maybe he, he used to, to be, be like you, Lou. He does seem to be like he's a lot to, more gentle with Lou than everyone else. He tries to comfort because Lou's yeah. like, "We're screwed," and he's like, "No, Lou, we're not." Like we're maybe fine. he that, used to that, be like that, him before he moved right. to like this school and put yeah. his like yeah. little teams together. Like, <coughs> would anyone? What would he, Brian be though? Because all like he works on one puzzle. What does Brian? He doesn't say a lot. Brian's like just a cry. I think Brian's a bit of a tag along. Yeah, he's just sort of yeah, showed okay. up and like, oh yeah, I'm gonna hang out with these, and they can't be bothered to get rid of him. Yeah, I think he is the one, like with the team, he's more that tea, tea lady kind of thing, yeah. go and get our lunches kind of thing, yeah. while everyone else works. I think that's what it brings. Like when you think about it, because he has hardly anything to say, that's like the first thing that comes to mind. Yeah. Is there anything else? There's no, there's no, there's no more questions. No. Does anyone have any fun facts about their characters they want to talk about? Like any specific um, traits that they want them to have? Mine would probably always have books with him. Yeah. And look very casual, very smart. Very casual but put together. Slicked back hair. Yeah. Like a he's, lot, a, like, he's a blazer back, kind like, of person. Or like he's always got a shirt with a collar. Mm. Yeah. Um, he's always looking like he's going to an interview. Yeah. Yeah. Always, always smartly dressed. Yeah. Bring the grease jacket. I feel like the grease <laughs> off, out. Obviously, John Tate is being changed into a girl character to me, so I feel like he's going to be not like sassy, 
but like I was saying before, Regina George kind of, I know that I'm in charge. Mm. And I'm gonna, like, I'm, I'm, gonna make, I'm gonna make you aware of this. Yeah. What would, I don't know what Kathy. I feel like Kathy wears bright colours, you know. Yeah, I think Kathy seems very, very bubbly and. The eighties. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Very big. Because if Rich is getting his clothes, practical. Um. Go go go.